What's up everyone? If you clicked on this video, I'm glad you did, and stick around because today we're going to go over some of the important Excel functions, well in this case Google Sheets, the sum, sumif, and sumifs functions. Now if you've used Sheets before, you probably know the sum function pretty well, but the sumif and sumifs function are far less common to be used. However, they are equally or even more important. In summary, the sum function, as we have here, finds the summation of a range. So it adds up all the numbers in a range. The sumif function finds the summation of a range given one criteria. The sum if this criteria is there. And then the sum ifs function is the summation of a range given multiple criteria. So you're adding a range if two criteria are true. Now this little data table that I made on the left is going to be what we're working with today for all three types of the functions and hopefully you learn something from it. So first we're going to look at the sum function. In the sum function you're finding the sum of a range. So in this case right here we want to find the sum of this entire range. So how you do that is you go into the cell that you want to display the sum and you type equals sum sum. You open your parentheses and then you highlight the range you want to use. So we'll start at C2 and go down to C14. You can see C2 and C14 in this cell and then when you hit enter will have the sum of 1,005. Now, instead of clicking and dragging through the range, you could just type C2 colon C14, and that will give you the range. If you wanted to just do C2 and C14, you would use a comma instead of a colon. Uh, the colon creates a range while the comma separates them as two cells that you're going to sum. So we can use that knowledge to our advantage in finding the sum of just the savings transactions. You would do the same thing to start. You would click in this cell, hit equals, sum, and then you click on the first cell you want to use, and then a comma for the new one, then click on the other one or type it in. Comma, click or type in the other one, and you could even do command click on the last one on any of them, hit enter, and 120 is the answer for the sum of the savings transactions. So the sum function, pretty simple. Now a little more complex is the sumif function. The sumif function sums a range given one criteria. So in this case we want to sum our range given that the transaction is greater than zero, so the amount of money total incoming. So we'll click on the cell we want to do the function in, type equals, sum if, and then when you start your parentheses, you want to click or highlight the range that you're going to use, so we'll use this range again, and then we'll do a comma to move on to the next part and there's only one part left. You do quotations and then greater than zero because that's what we're going to try to find here. End your quotations or else it's not going to work and then hit enter. So 1160 is a total of everything coming into our account. Now you can do the same thing for everything outgoing. Equals sum if highlight the range comma, quotations, less than zero is our criteria, end your quotations, and hit enter, negative 155. If you notice, the 1160 minus the 155 gives us the 1005 that we found as a sum of the entire range in the last part, so the numbers add up. Then you could also find the total of all transactions that are similar. In this case, we'll do equal to 20. So we'll do equals sum if, and then start our parentheses, highlight the range, do a comma, 
quotations, have to do the quotations, equal to 20, end quotations, and enter. And the total is $60 as there are three $20 transactions. Now, if you notice up here, it has some range in brackets. That is optional, and you can throw that in after the greater than zero if the range of the criteria is different from the range that you are summing. But that doesn't really happen too much, and we're not talking about it here, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Finally, we have my favorite, the sum ifs function. The sum ifs function is the summation of a range given multiple criteria. So in this case, let's choose, well, we'll do this range, and one criteria will do checking transactions, and then the second criteria will be transactions greater than zero. So we should get the sum of all checking transactions that are positive. So to do that, you'll start like you always do, hit equals in the cell, then we'll type out some ifs and start our parentheses. We'll first do the range that we'll be summing, C2 to C14, and then a comma. Then we'll highlight the range of the first criteria. So the first criteria is that it is a checking transaction. So this is the range we'll highlight. Then another comma. Now we are talking about what the criteria is for that range. We'll do quotations, checking, which means that if this cell says checking, then it will be summed. And we have to do our second criteria, so we'll do another comma. The second criteria is that it is a positive transaction. So again, we'll highlight C2 to C14, comma, and then we'll do what we did in the last one and do quotations greater than zero. So take a look, try to understand all that's going on there. C2 to C14 is the range that will be summed. B2 to B14 is the first criteria range and checking in quotations is the criteria for that range, B2 to B14. Then the second criteria range is C2 to C14 again with the criteria being greater than zero. You could go on and on and add as many criteria as you want. You could talk about the day that it happened, but for the sake of this example, we'll just do the two. We hit enter and we get 440. Does that add up? Let's see. That's a checking transaction greater than zero. No, no, no. So is this. It's just those two, 440, so it adds up to 440. So in summary, today we looked at the sum, sum if, and sum ifs functions, where we can find the sum of a range, a range given a criteria, and a range given multiple criteria. I use these functions a lot, and I think they're pretty useful, and I hope you got something out of this too. If you enjoyed and learned something, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.